because a classic can be a cartoon too. Dumbo, look what I got for you. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 animated movies from the 1920s to the 1970s. For this list, we've looked at all animated films released between 1920 and 1979 and have selected those that achieved the most success, were the most original, and advanced the animation industry furthest. Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? We're only looking at feature-length films, however, so no shorts. This is part of a series of videos spanning the decades of animated movies, from the 1920s to the 2000s. Well, get on with it. <laughs> Continue, my dear. Number 10, Sleeping Beauty. An adaptation of the traditional fairy tale, Sleeping Beauty remains one of the most significant movies to be made by the Californian company. Little princess, my gift shall be the gift of beauty. In Aurora, they created one of the traditional Disney princesses, and with Maleficent, they unleashed one of cinema's greatest villains. Fools! Idiots! Imbeciles! This is a tale of true love that is never likely to be forgotten, especially after an Angelina Jolie reboot. Maleficent! As magical as animation has ever been, it's a movie that has us, ironically, wide awake and watching. I walked with you once upon a dream. I know you, the gleam in your eyes is so familiar a gleam. Number 9, Peter Pan. Yes, uh, Peter Pan. Based on the much loved work by J.M. Barry, Peter Pan proved a favorite in the 50s. Blast that Peter Pan! Bringing to life some unforgettable characters, Neverland was always fun for the viewer. Up to Neverland! Pan was a protagonist for the people, while even Captain Hook had a certain scary charm about him. Uh -huh. <laughs> now let me see, where was I? Oh dear, dear, dear Captain Hook. We were always glad to find the Lost Boys, and Tinkerbell is still an animated icon. What's more, we never looked at our shadow the same way again. The boy who wouldn't grow up, his story will never get old. Never there! You'll never grow up there! Number 8, 101 Dalmatians. My only true love, darling, I live for first. Famous villains has been a theme of the opening to this countdown, and our next movie serves up another. Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. Crazy Cruella de Vil is trying to steal the puppies, but she very nearly steals the entire show. Anita, darling, how are you? Miserable, darling, as usual, perfectly wretched. The demonic dog napper is materialistic to the point of being sadistic, and she has fur on the brain. For heaven's sakes, where are they? Who, Cruella? I don't. The puppies, the puppies. When Perdita gives birth to 15 Dalmatians, DeVille simply cannot see the creature for the coat. 15 Dalmatian puppies! Stolen! What follows is far from black and white, as Disney's Dalmatians make for some classic characters. Well, so they thought they could outwit Cruella. <laughs> Number 7, Charlotte's Web. Good morning! Salutations! Based upon E.B. White's 1952 children's book, Charlotte's Web is another anthropomorphic work of art. Isn't he precious? It didn't strike immediate success, but has gradually garnered a fierce fan base, achieving an almost cult status. My name is Charlotte. The plot follows Wilbur the pig, who is destined for the slaughterhouse. Isn't it great? That I articulate. And Charlotte the spider, who is trying to help him avoid it. Thank you, Charlotte. Build as humble, radiant, and terrific, it doesn't disappoint. A fair is a veritable smorgasbord, orgasbord, orgasbord. White himself is said to have disliked the adaptation, but we're gonna have to politely disagree on that one. I just can't stand any more violence. Number six, Alice in Wonderland. Well, my name is Alice, and I'm following White Rabbit. Back 
work with Disney for our next movie, and more classic children's literature. How do you do a shake hand, shake hand, shake hand? When Lewis Carroll penned Alice's Adventures in Wonderland in 1865, he could hardly have foreseen the rise of Walt, though he may as well have been writing with the great man in mind. Well, it's exactly, exactly. Well, it's precisely this. Everything about Wonderland lends itself to animation. If I were looking for a white rabbit, I'd ask the Mad Hatter. This movie is the middle ground between imagination and insanity, between make-believe and madness. It's what Disney read as a youngster, and it stuck with him as an adult. This picture was his realization of the wackiest of worlds. Number 5. Fantasia Cartoons and classical music are usually paired together, but rarely as dynamically or as directly as this. Fantasia is, without any need of over-exaggeration, spectacular. From Bach to Beethoven, from Stravinsky to Tchaikovsky, this production pulls absolutely no punches. Serving as a Mickey Mouse relaunch, the bucket-wielding broomsticks and the blue apprentice hat are among the film's most memorable images. But perhaps Chernabog and The Night on Bald Mountain stand out the most as chilling now as it was in 1940. Number 4. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Snow White Considered one of the most significant milestones in 20th century cinema, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was the very first feature-length movie made by Walt Disney. Oh, how silly of me! I'm Snow White! Snow White, the princess! a feat for which the animator was awarded an honorary Oscar at the 11th Academy Awards, he was presented a standard-sized statuette, along with seven mini reproductions. Must be seven little children. And from the look of this table, seven untidy little children. The story is truly timeless, as it encompasses the very essence of a fairy tale, a princess, an evil queen, and true love's first kiss. Snow White didn't follow the rules, it made them. I hope, I hope, it's home from go. Number 3. Bambi Well, I think I'll call him Bambi. In the 30s and 40s, Disney could do absolutely nothing wrong. Good morning, Prince Bambi! Bambi was another beautifully brilliant production, providing an emotional concoction of the incredibly uplifting and the absolutely heartbreaking. Mother! A film for those adults who passed animation off as child's play, it had anyone and everyone crying over cartoon animals. Your mother can't be with you anymore. An establishment of what would become a very fruitful formula, the title character was backed up by some cute, comedic sidekicks. Yes, Mama. And a journey was made in the name of hope. Two of them. Oh! <laughs> It worked then, and it still works now. Well, sure. I don't believe I've ever seen a more likely-looking pair of form. Fringe Bambi ought to be mighty proud. Cinderella! Number 2. Cinderella All right, all right, I'm coming. An animated classic, if ever there was one. Cinderella was actually a crucial creation for Disney. Just a wave of my stick and to finish the trick, the company had not fared well during World War II, and by 1950, they were on the verge of bankruptcy. It's a beautiful dress. Did you ever see such a beautiful dress? Then, along came Cindy to breathe new life into everything. So this is what makes life. A damsel in the utmost distress, Cinderella lives out her lonely existence, dreaming of happily ever after. Once more, this is the movie that created the cliché. Often copied, but never bettered, its place on the podium is beyond doubt. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for everything. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. See. Don't tell me you're going in there. Oh, why, it's swarming with wolves. A big one, right from your toes. How's that? Yeah, and look at this King Robin Hood bow. <laughs> Number one, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. If we said this wasn't the best animated movie of its era, then we'd be lying. And then, of course, our nose would grow, and we don't want that. My nose? What's happened? A puppet's dream to be a real boy is this film's drive, but there's more than simple hope here. You see, Pinocchio, a lie keeps growing and growing until it's as plain as the nose on your face. It's a coming-of-age tale and an epic adventure as well. <laughs> Alerting everyone to the Jiminy Cricket inside us all. One you wish upon a star and scaring everyone away from temptation, this is Disney's defining moment. Hey, Flopper Mouth, open up! I gotta get in there! Snow White was good, but could Walt do it again? Too right he could. I'm real. I'm a real boy! Do you agree with our list? Blech. Which animated classic did we miss? Gee, Marie, why did you have to fall off the bridge? For more timeless top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Who? What, what?